Hello, I'm Ernst. In this video, I want to show you the powerful spectrum analysis capability of the RTO oscilloscope. To show you that, I have an access point with me as a DOT that's emitting in the 5 GHz range Wi-Fi signals. I capture that signal with an antenna and feed it directly into channel 1. What you see on the display here is the Wi-Fi signal captured from the antenna. So the first thing for an analysis is to start an FFT. So let's start to configure an FFT with the toolbar. Now you can configure the FFT with start and stop frequency, as you see here, or center frequency and span. And of course, you can both situations uh, configure their resolution bandwidth. So you can configure your FFT as you would like and as you are used with a spectrum analyzer. So let's configure it from 5 gigahertz to 5.5 gigahertz. And now you can either for full FFT just select the source for channel 1, then it's a full FFT, or st start already with a gated FFT as I will do now by drawing an area. And here you see this is the FFT, that's area, and the FFT starts below. And you see already the Wi-Fi signal coming up out of the noise floor. The next step you can do is you can now look in a spectrogram how this is time-wise evolving. To do this, just select spectrogram and select the channel. You would have the spectrogram and of course you can select the colors of the spectrogram and you clearly see the time variation of the, um, of the FFT and of the 5 gigahertz signal that you see here. Remember, with the RTO oscilloscope, you can trigger in frequency domain with the first zone trigger in time and frequency domain. To do that, activate the zone trigger and draw a zone around that signal that you want to see. And now the scope triggers only when it reaches that frequency, so you only see the 5 GHz Wi-Fi signal that we have selected for trigger. So you see with the RTO, you really have a powerful spectrum analysis capability.